Peace, peace, peace. I'm Tuere Chica. I'm here to greet you with your energetic weather report for August the 2nd through August the 8th. Now, I want you to know that this may sound negative to you like nasty, negative, energetic weather report. However, sometimes there has to be a nasty, negative report of weather that's approaching to warn you, to keep you safe, to protect you from harm. And that's what this Mystic Twist is about today the 2nd of August, we will have Uranus squaring the sun, the moon going through Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and Capricorn. Mercury comes into this opposition with Saturn. What an intense energy. Meanness marks, meanness sparks, lightning strikes, pain, fears, pessimism, powerlessness, altercations, power struggles, defensiveness, which the fallout into depression and misery presence. <laughs> you don't want to be in this type of weather. I'm saying to you that the dam is about to burst here with the square of Uranus and the moon going through Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn. And what I'm saying to you, beloved, is that this is a time to hear your soul to move with the beat of your natural in-sync heart divine drum pace, to be safe, to avoid the trouble and the stress and being in proximity of someone who's about to reap getting swept off their feet. Now, haven't we figured it out by now, beloved? that the situation on the planet that has erupted, corrupted, and instructed us to tune in, tap in, turn on the receptive mechanism to hear divine guidance. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying to you, if you're still cruising, Selfishly, unloving, uncaring, unsharing, desire for the self alone, sitting on a lonely, narcissistic throne. This is your time of disillusionment, of upheaval, and you want to be in synchronicity with universal principles, divine universal principles, those universal laws, ma'at is what the ancient Kemetis call it, that put us in rapport with the whole, with the all. I am admonishing you to be very present and very careful at this time. Yes, communications from a lot of emotions here with this connection, Mercury just entering into this opposition with Saturn, uh, a lot of pains and, and fears coming forward because of being under distress, but yet not being honest and truthful with oneself. So continuing the illusions and confusion and deceptions in your own perceptions. So altercations and communications and power struggles. People becoming very defensive because they're feeling fearful. This is what's up on the second, and it still moves through. On August the 
3rd. Full moon, 11.50 a.m. The moon and the sun, of course, opposite, and they're squaring Uranus. So this is called a grand T-square. Mercury is exactly 27 degrees opposite Saturn at this time. And Jupiter is exactly 19 degrees squaring Mars at this time. What a full moon. Economical crisis, negativity and spears, fear, adrenaline and testosterone surge. Once again, the Jupiter Mars square, the masculine ego, little false, insecure self doesn't know how to turn it off. Uh, puffing and bluffing and uh, intimidating uh, all a uh, smoke of, of self-deception, all a cloud of self-sabotaging, of suppressed fears, of suppressed uh, pain that refuses to deal with. So, ooh, spewing, 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 spewing. This third full moon is going to come out. So be very cautious of where you walked August the 4th. This is a time that uh, the celebration with sounds of suffering in the wind. Yeah. People are saying, let's celebrate and there's sounds of separation. It's like, really, it's summertime. You wanna celebrate, you wanna have fun, but you gotta stay in tune with the serious and the joyful simultaneously. If you just jump into the joyful, into the happy laughing uh, gratification and are not grounded, <laughs> see, you could be in a serious situation where there is um, a, um, a uh, uh, call for your heart to be in servitude to someone who is in suffering, right in front of you, right around you. This is the lack of love. Love's in need of day, today. Love's in need. Put yours in right away. Be it, not just say it. Uh, uh, display it, exemplify it. Anything else just wouldn't be spiritualized. Anything else, you say you're on a spiritual path. Oh man, the ancestors laugh if, if no love is apart from you. Yeah, your intellect is sharp. You're on the border of ingeniousness, but you forgot compassion and love and sensitivity and patience. Ooh. The 5th of August, actually the 6th of August, Art and creativity and mediumship. Why? Neptune and the moon are conjunct. This is a powerful time. Uh, this will be um, a really powerful wave to ride for the healers, for the conscious ones. Um, why do I say mediumship connected with art and creativity? Because mediumship is the ability to be so open, so courageously trusting, so fearless that you merge into others and you merge into your environment and you interpret and, and, and diagnostically uh, discern what the need is and then you create it in an artistic way. That's the Jupiter, the fun part of this experience now. You wanna have some joy? Do it in serving your healing arts, August the 7th. Healing, revealing, for self or others. This is the choice when the moon catches up with Chiron, conjuncts it, and trines Mercury. You can communicate uh, from this deep mediumship sensitivity. It's like one day you may be blamed, you may be in pain, you may be on the borders of insane, and you need someone with compassion to come and to lift you up into the joy of the sun, out of the clouds and the blue, you must be what you want to see in the world. August the 8th 
anger, sex, violence, crashes, extreme expression. The moon catches up with Mars and conjuncts it. Square Jupiter, fire burns to teach you to love and learn. This is the energetic weather report reminding you to awaken and remember to your mission, your contract that you came here to fulfill. Don't follow the herd mentality. Everything that you've heard, parakeeting, communication, intellectual uh, motivation, unconnected to the spark in the heart, you are folly ranking, going to get a spanking, and I'm trying to save your hide from getting wept on his side. Listen to this energetic weather report. Walk consciously. Walk like an aware native, soft on the land, hearing the, the earth and all its living beings, being responsible to respond yes with awareness and consciousness of your environment the water needs your help it needs thoughts of purification coming for you we need gratification and admiration for all of our blessings and the earth and the trees and the, the animals and the, the the birds everything is alive Pay attention to the living miracle of life and not just the unexpected pop-ups of things not happening your way. I'm to every chica and we saying that this energetic weather report is not like all so much uh, happy news. Um, however, it would be happy news if it keeps you from getting into a situation where you're hurting and you regret creating these actions. Many blessings to you for true. May the love that you seek be you. May the heart that circulates the blood in you be committed, loyal, and true. Joy, awaken. Responsibility, responding in divine synchronicity. This is a mystic twist. Insightlight.net. Don't be remiss. Peace and love.